we were able to show, for instance, that if you take people with uh, already low cholesterol and further reduce that cholesterol with a statin, uh, there's no evidence that that increases their cancer risk. There's no suggestion that um, statin therapy in the elderly causes cancer. There's no suggestion that um, uh, statins cause cancer in any, uh, at any given site. Uh, including breast cancer or gastrointestinal cancers, as had been suggested by um, w one or two of the earlier studies. Um, so th th the value of our analyses really is that we were able to systematically test um, all of these hypotheses that had been raised in a much, much larger data set than had previously been possible. Mm -hmm. And the results are very reassuring for the, patient, for the many millions of patients who are taking statins, um, at least for the duration of um, five to six years, the duration of the trials that we, were, we had data on. I mean, I think the question about um, uh, statins now has probably been answered as well as it can be from the randomized controlled trials. Of course, um, these trials are typically five years or six years of duration, so it's not really possible to speculate about the possible effects of 10 or 20 years of statin treatment. Having said that, the lack of any hint of any emergence of a cancer risk um, with increasing duration of treatment in our analyses is very reassuring as are the results from some of the individual studies that have made attempts to follow up patients for longer than the trial durations. They haven't suggested any um, safety concerns with, uh, uh, in, in the longer term. Mm -hmm.